Today in weather history, we're going back 29 years to 1990. We're going out to Gallup, too. They woke up to some bitterly cold temperatures out there almost 30 years ago today. The Gallup Airport dropped it. Crystal, you ready for this? 34 degrees below oh, no. zero this morning. I know that was a, that was a few years ago. Uh, th that was the coldest temperature ever recorded for the city of Gallup. Man, could you imagine waking up to that? No. I don't want to either. Thank goodness we're not saying that today. Thankfully not. <laughs> All right, time for the five facts. At number five this morning, residents at an Albuquerque nursing home have something to smile about after Santa came a little early. One of the home's employees organized a gift drive for residents at the Ladera Center. She says originally she was asking for donations of blankets and fuzzy socks, but it turned into so much more with things like games and puzzles being donated too. About 250 gifts in total were handed out. Oh, that's such great news. Mm -hmm. They said they were able to hand out a gift to every single one of the residents living there. So cool. Yeah. Number four, this morning we're waiting to learn why two UNM basketball players are suspended. This is huge news in the sports world. UNM says senior Carlton Bragg and junior JJ Caldwell are, quote, being withheld from competition and any team activity until further notice. The two even missed yesterday's game. When News 13 asked APD if it was looking into the players, a spokesperson within the department would only say they have nothing to report. Of course, once we do hear exactly why they're suspended indefinitely, we'll let you know right here on KRQ News 13. You can also look for updates by downloading our KRQ News app. And at number three this morning, we'll be watching a storm that'll be moving in for the Christmas holiday. Rain and snow will start to spread across the state through Christmas Eve afternoon, eventually coming to an end by Christmas Day, though. We'll be watching another storm that'll be moving in later this week. And that one looks to bring a much bigger impact to the state. The storm, though, moving in on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Rain looks likely across the valley areas, snow across the northern mountains and higher peaks of the Gila region. Hopefully, shouldn't affect any of your. Christmas travel plans. Hopefully not. All right, number two, Albuquerque drivers say they're dealing with people cutting corners during heavy rush hour traffic. Nobody likes this. Their commutes are already taking longer than normal because of nearby construction. Drivers now say this only adds to their frustration, but they're seeing other drivers do this, bypassing the on ramp from northbound Coors onto Paseo. Our cameras captured it happening a lot as well. Not only is this illegal, but it's putting other drivers and even pedestrians at risk. We did reach out to APDs to see if officers will be cracking down on this. They have yet to respond to us. The city does plan on making lane expansions on streets like Paseo and Unser to curb some of the traffic woes. No date on that uh, road project just yet. On to number one, authorities confirming that a body was found under a couch in a field in Valencia County. The sheriff's office says that they were called to an area near, near Meadow Lake where the body was found yesterday afternoon. They cannot confirm the age or gender of the person found. They say it's still an active investigation with assistance from state police and the Office of the Medical Examiner now on board with this as well. Of course, we'll provide you updates as we learn more details right here on KRQ News 13. You can also look for updates by downloading our KRQ News app. All right, more coming up on Fox New Mexico. We'll see you on the other side.